No, it's fine, Celia, thank you. No, I just had a coffee in the car. I can wait for Thomas. I suppose there's no point in asking what this is about. Is, is Robert there at the moment? Alex Shepard. No, I know what you said. I'm in a meeting, so please can you ask him not to call back now till... <laughs> yes, I appreciate that he's busy. So am I. Perhaps you can ask him to call back later. No, in fact, I'll call him. Well, if he's gone into another meeting, he'll have to call me back, won't he? I have already texted him. Yes, thank you. Can, can you tell him it's uh, important? Thank you. Stupid bitch. Hello. Joanna, I told you not to call me whilst I'm here. Yes, I'm here. Sitting in the... No, I'm waiting for him. No. N no idea. No, Robert's in a meeting and I haven't had a chance to... Joe, Joe, please, that's not going to happen for Christ's sake. We'll manage somehow. <laughs> I am not going to ask him. Believe me, I have no bloody... You'll be... Joe, Lydia's a big girl. She can manage. She's got all the big guns on her side. Besides, she could do it herself. It wouldn't hurt her to talk to him. Listen, I can't discuss it again here. As I tried to tell you, I'm in the main room. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Well, he must have moved it here. Joe, I am sitting on a sofa looking at Blue Actian. No, there's nothing else in the room. No, 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 I looked over at the barn and you can practically see the dust on the locks. Of course. There is a camera in here. Uh, a security camera. Well, he must have had it put in. Darling, when you think of the value of blue, I suppose he must at least appreciate Blue Actian. Though it doesn't seem exactly to his... Well, I was going to say to his taste. It's only the greatest, possibly only, great British action painting. Perhaps... I was going to say, perhaps it reminds him of you. <laughs> Forget it. There's an excellent photo of it in, in my book in the 50s. It's in the study. You lazy bitch. Okay, are you sitting comfortably? I'm sitting very comfortably, thank you. Even if it is a bit sparse. I, I think he may have redecorated or something, had someone in. The canvas, in fact, the board, it's, it's on board, it's on wood. Given that it's 10 and a half feet by six and a half feet, it's late 50s, they measured everything in feet and inches then. I happen to remember the dimensions. I was in the gallery when it was brought in. I, I've told you that, I have told you that. I know, I, I must have. Yes, I do tell you everything. Joe, we've discussed this. I have no idea why Thomas wants to see me. Well, it has to be because he wants to open up a collection. What else could it be? He must be starting to feel pretty stupid sitting on the biggest collection of contemporary art, knowing that everyone wants to see it. Surely he'll want some sort of kudos before he shuffles off his mortgage. Look, we both know him. I was working with him for... Yes, cross my heart and hope to die in... What? Yes, okay. Cross my heart and hope to die in Preston Municipal Gallery. There are worse places. Okay. I just can't think of any at the moment. 
Blue Actium. The painting. On board, 10 feet 6 by 6 feet 6. A curiously muted blue with a, a feather edge. M no, muted. I said muted. Well, it's hardly Eve Klein. <laughs> I didn't realise you noticed. Well, you don't wash them, do you? So it's a curiously muted blue, yes. It's almost, uh, well, almost the exact colour of my Calvin Klein's, except there's an extraordinary effect of... Uh, sorry, sorry, I was, I was having a spiritual moment. I'd forgotten what a masterpiece it is. You can get lost in the blue. Sometimes the grain of the board shows through. It's and there are, there are the flecks of off white. Some of them are so tiny they can barely. And I remember that little patch there. There's a patch where the white has fallen, almost like a constellation of stars, almost as if accidental or. Maybe there is a god. No. But of course, the huge arc of yellow. I said, maybe there is a god. <laughs> that huge arc of yellow thrown up, it's incredible. Such genius. But knowing, I mean, it's hard to believe someone could throw paint like that. And it couldn't be anyone but him. You could not get that effect unless you knew exactly what you were doing and how you wanted it to be. Almost like throwing dice and knowing that you were going to get snake eyes. And of course, he didn't always get it right, but when he did, when he did, blue Actium is it. Acteon, painting. You can feel the violence in the act of painting, but with that hidden classic reference, the secret joke. A Renaissance reference, throwing down a brush, challenging Titian with that arc of yellow. <laughs> Titian never used yellow in painted rainbows. Yes, I know you know. I am not lecturing. <laughs> Listen, I should get off. Okay, I will. Morning. Jesus. I didn't hear you come in. You were talking. Y yeah, Joanna, she sends you. Yes. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Seven years. Listen, you're looking well. Uh, I. Please we... don't say anything. Uh, did Celia offer you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. So. So, uh, you were describing the painting Actian to Joanna. Blue Actian. Yes. She misses it? Well, of course. You know, I wonder how I'm supposed to feel about that. Joe always says that's your problem. Joe? Joanna, she. Joe! I called her that. I've always... I think I called her that from the beginning. I never called her that. Ever. Would it have made a difference? Oh, Thomas. Yes? I mean, let's not go into... Go there. Yeah, let's not go there. I... Oh, forget it. Do you want a drink? No, I'm fine. So what does Joe say is my problem? What? He said that Joanna always says that something was my problem. I can't remember now. What were we talking about? You said that Joanna misses this painting, and I said, uh, I said, I wonder how I'm supposed to feel about that, or, or something like that. Oh, yeah, well, she says, um... I don't express my feelings. Didn't. Never expressed. Well... Well, is that it? Don't express my feelings. Didn't express my feelings. Of course, I knew she loved the painting. I had no hesitation in buying it when you suggested it. It was a strong, uh, I mean, it's still a... Good, very... good investment. Uh, 
Perhaps not when you look at my motivation. You've got a great collection of... <laughs> Alex, you're hardly likely to say anything else. Look, I, I haven't come here for... But that out there is one of the finest collections of contemporary art in the country, in the fucking world, out in that fucking barn. I've staked my reputation on it. Well, some would say you built your reputation on it. Now, you came to me. Yeah, I trusted you. For Christ's sake, let's not go there. I know where this is fucking going and I'm not going there. Is this all you've got me here for? It is over, Thomas. I am not discussing it. And you won. Thomas, I am not going through all of it all over again. It's all over. It's seven years for fucks. But you won. <laughs> it's not a question of winners and losers. These things happen. Joe is... Happier with you. Yes, that's clear, isn't it? I must be mad. <laughs> Thomas, I'm... I'm sorry. What am I here for? We've avoided them. Um... No reason not to. I don't want to see Joanna, but I do, you know. I do want to see Joanna. Thomas, move on. Move on? That's not going to happen, is it? I take it. Yes. We were both. I mean, we're both. What do you want me to say, Thomas? We're sorry. We're both genuinely sorry. I believe you genuinely believe that at the moment. In the same way that I genuinely don't know how I feel about Joanna missing the painting. Look. I did ask you here for a reason. Not to. Yes. Rake over. Embers? Coals. Not embers. Still hot coals. I'm really not the bastard you make me out to be. Uh, don't make you out to be a bastard. Really speak of you. No one ever speak of you. There's no one to speak about you too. Everyone has avoided the subject for years. <laughs> Joanna. Joanna's mama. You see her? Uh, she doesn't mention me. No, curiously. And then we don't see much of her. She didn't approve, you know. Her daughter leaving me for a man who, without wishing to labour a point, was worth a damn sight less, as she put it. That only put Joe's back up, of course. She can be, um... Contrary, is what her mother would say. To be fair to her, she was always polite to me up until... Oh, you were a servant. She's always polite to servants. It's a class thing. I'm sure you understand. There were occasional moments when Joanna looked at me the same way when we first... When I first brought you in. Her mother used to look at me like that, too. I think eventually the old man must have had a word with her. I wish I'd met him. The old man. I think sometimes it might have... Well, it might help me to understand Joanna. Well, you feel you don't understand Joanna? No. Not at all. It's just... You know, women. Well, I clearly didn't even know Joanna. So I, I don't... Uh, you know women. Her dad's background was much more like mine. Scholarship boy between the wars, made good, made, made very good. Knighthood, no less. You made better. His wife always knew what side her bread is buttered. Anyway, we're not here to discuss all that. Joe would like to see you. Because I'm dying. Don't say that. What? Don't say I'm dying. I think you know me well enough to know that I don't lie, Alex. Haven't lied about this at all. We tried to keep it out of the press as long as we could, of course, but uh, could hardly expect privacy. You're far. Far? You're one of the wealthiest, most successful people in the country. People are bound to be interested. <laughs> I never did anything for people's interest. Yeah, Joe says that. You were driven, that's what Joe says. Joanna. <laughs> I love that woman. Before her, I'd never, well, there were girls, of course, social stuff, university. You had a girl. My parents were always on at me, my, my, my mother, but, uh, but I, wasn't, uh, I wasn't disinterested. But it was always there in the background, and remember was Joanna. I remember the first second I saw her, and it was like someone had switched a light on her. And I thought, after I'd known her a while, I thought, well, I, I used to see her socially. She was with... Uh, Harry. Yeah, sorry. Well, I couldn't believe when, when he just left her. And how could anyone leave her? She was, she was so beautiful. Every time I saw her, I wanted to fall on my knees. I couldn't believe it every time she didn't even talk to me. Well, you were. 
Yes. Christ, Thomas, you were a catch. Any woman? A catch, was I? <laughs> yes, I suppose I was. A catch in a fool's paradise. Don't talk like that. You always misread, Joe. Yes, I certainly did. <clears throat> so how's my daughter? Thomas. I suppose I should be glad my mother died before all that happened. She never began to understand art. That's probably where I got it from. So did Lydia get it from Joanna? Or did you have something to do with it? How could I have had anything to do with it? She was 15 when I felt... When you and I... And I didn't mean that. I meant you had something to do with her celebrity. Well, she's a genuine talent. Oh, slow in producing work. Great art takes time. Oh, is she working on something new? The burgers of Calais in her own preserved feces? She told you. You're joking. You're not joking. Oh, oh, what's this to be called? Oh, of course, shit art, Daddy. After snot art, Daddy. But you shouldn't take those titles personally, Thomas. I mean, you really shouldn't. The titles are merely a statement about the obviously patriarchal nature of the art establishment. Of male critics like yourself. But I'll ignore that. You didn't see SAD1. She was hurt. She would be. She's an artist. I know Lydia. She's sensitive. She wanted you to see SAD1. SAD1? Yeah, she's working on a series, the sad series, S-A-D, Snot Art Daddy, Shit Art Daddy. Oh, has she left herself anywhere to go? How much other body waste is there left that begins with S? You're criticising without ever having seen the work. Yeah, well, as you may remember, I always hope to find stuff with a degree of craft. Well, then you should have seen S-A-B-1. Oh, please. A replica of Michelangelo's David built entirely from her own hardened bogies? You should see it before you criticise. This was not like any replica. It wasn't some cheap plaster copy bought outside the Academia. She worked on it for well over a year. Every single person who sees it has to get on their knees to look through the special viewer. It's brilliantly in proportion. I've seen the original. The, the one in the Academia, not the replica outside Palazzo Vecchio. Yes, Alex, the original, the one in the Academia. I was moved. I remember being refreshingly surprised that it didn't have a note from the curator telling me what I should think. You should see Lydia's piece, you know. It's quite extraordinary. It's incredibly imaginative. The colouring made it look like a Chinese jade figure, a Western god in an Eastern material. And, and of course, there was the whole angle of cutting the colossus of Western art down to size. So you, you should have. When your estranged daughter creates a work of art entitled Snot Art, Daddy, there is a suggestion that it's not for you. That's not my fault, Thomas. You do know that, don't you? She hardly sees anything of Joe either. Oh, but you write about her work. Well, it's nothing to do with her being my stepdaughter. It's exciting work. I was excited by the work. I wouldn't be biased towards her just because she's my stepdaughter. Believe me. You, you may not believe it, but I do have some integrity as far as my work is concerned. Yes, as doubtless does Lydia. <sighs> I'm sorry, Alex. I hadn't meant things to go like this. How did you want things to go? And, wh and what are the things? The things are the things I have got to get settled. Of course. So Joe still misses this. Do you not care for it? Oh, it has a very special meaning for me. When I look at it now, there's something new about it that always appeals to me. I know what you mean. I don't think you do. Well, I suppose every reaction to a piece like this must be subjective. Perhaps all my lecturing was not in vain. How do you mean? I was hoping you meant that your appreciation of art had moved on a little. I read in the New York Times that the prices that Norman Rockwell now attracts have risen so high that some people are beginning to think that he may be a great artist after all. Rockwell? Oh, come on, Thomas, you are kidding. He's an illustrator at best. Prices have risen. Never underestimate the general public, especially in America. Did it ever, ever cross your mind that you might be just a snob? Me? A snob? Just because I don't go for the vulgar, the lowest common denominator, does not make someone a snob. Oh, of course, you have the education. You're laughing at me. What's this about? I didn't read art history at Cambridge. Neither did I, as you damn well know. Everything I know about art, I learned the hard way. My own... Bloody hard work. If you were a job in the gallery, you was older, was a friend of your father's. 
plain talk. I'm not going to apologize for that. I realized that I had an eye for what was good, what was different, what was refreshing, what was new. Did you ever paint yourself? What? I'm just asking. Did you ever do any painting yourself? No, I'm not an artist. I have no pretensions to being an artist. No, just an expert. Yes, just an expert. Hmm. Joanna and I once went to a Jackson Pollock exhibition at Tate, Britain. 99, I remember it. And I remember what you're about to say. A very small room full of drawings showing that he couldn't really draw either, just like you. No, our colleges don't teach drawing nowadays. We've moved on. Like um, normal Rockwell's prices. Oh, can it with the Rockwell. There's always been a horribly sentimental side to your taste. You could have had a Rothko. Oh, what was it? Uh, blue on purple on green? Mauve on yellow on purple? But interior decoration at best. You have no soul. Oh, that's so easy to say, isn't it? Move to the higher ground to look down. I know all about the farce with Billy Vandergrant. Oh, I liked his work. Yeah, and a fat lot of good it did you. If you don't mind me saying. Carping. No, remarking. You have a taste for the sentimental. I was moved by his work. Many people were. Many people are moved by Jack Vetriano, but that doesn't mean it's any good. Oh, look, the art mafia always knocked Vetriano, but he's still the most popular painter in the country. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> South Bank Show did an hour, an hour on him once, which at least acknowledged that a huge number of people like his work. They asked the director of Tate Modern to come on the programme and explain why there was no work by the most popular painter in the country in the country's top modern art gallery, and he refused. Well, I'm sure he had better things to do. Well, isn't it his job? Well, I suppose you could argue that, but Vetriano's self-taught. Oh, Billy wasn't. Billy was just given hell once he went back to figurative. You just don't get it, do you, Thomas? That kind of work is completely outmoded. We all have cameras now. <laughs> In our pockets. You want pictures of people, take one. Well, you don't necessarily get the drama. Go and see a play if you want. Art should make you think. Art should take you places. There should have been room for Billy's work. If there had have been, there would have been. Technique is not enough. Well, his technique was incredible. What he couldn't do with paint really couldn't be done. I'd like to think that one day even you would realise what a master he was in the use of paint. It was all looking to the past. They totally lacked any sense of spontaneity. Frozen people in, in painful situations. God, that went out with sickert. Billy Vandergrant. It killed him. No, drunk driving killed him. Well, what drove him to drink so much? I was always surprised that his work didn't catch on after his death. So much art appears to be about biography. Well, things have changed. The great contemporary artists are successful. The work sells. People like me, because people like you decide what people like me should be buying. I hope you're not complaining. The contents of that barn must be worth two and a half times what you gave. And those prices went up because it was known that I was buying uh, whoever. Bloody, bloody, blies in the meat collection. Bloody, blies hot. Valued around two billion. No, that's what it was worth seven years ago. Yes, of course. You gave encouragement to a lot of young artists. Is that why my daughter doesn't talk to me? You gave encouragement to a lot of young artists with my money. And look how successful every single one of them has become. I couldn't even pick out any one name. There's work by a unique mass of really fine names over there, Thomas. Yeah, because you say so. You and people like you. The art establishment gives the imprimatur of artist and whammo! Anything that the artist does is art because they are an artist. Most of that stuff hasn't been seen since it was first exhibited. And whose bloody fault is that? It's mine, isn't it? Yes. Who else's fault could it be? No, no, not my fault. It's mine. It belongs to me. I paid for it. It belongs to me. That's not in question, but a patron of art should be glad to see the work of artists they sponsored out in the arena. Well, I ended up with no choice of the artists I sponsored. For Christ's sake. That's why you brought me in. Your own taste. <laughs> the place would be full of the likes of Billy Vandergrand. I'm surprised you weren't asked to write an obituary. People would have known better than to ask me. You're supposed to speak well of the dead. Uh, mm. <laughs> so you had had him stuck out there for six months, and what did you get for it? What? What, Thomas? Is there some Billy Van der Graam piece in the barn? God help us. You paid him enough. After the accident, you said... There is no Billy Van der Graaf masterpiece in the barn. No, there's something else. 
I know you well enough, Thomas. I've seen that look. Perhaps I bought something else. What? By who? No, I, I would have heard. Someone would have told me. Would you be annoyed if I'd commissioned a very major artist to produce something without your permission? Well, someone would have talked. Well, to answer your question, Alex, there is no Billy van der Grant masterpiece in the barn. There isn't a trace of Billy in the barn. Everything was returned to, uh, what's her name? He's not made a will, she was his widow. Everything he'd been using went back to her. Oh, yes, of course, I was forgetting. Lots and lots of sketches. Didn't achieve much in six months of patronage, did he? Well, he might have, um, what, Stanley Spencer? Oh, fuck Stanley Spencer. He's been dead for nearly a century. I think you'll find he died in 1959. And his ideas had died a hell of a long time before that. English whimsy. Art monkey rates him. You know art monkey. Uh, I've seen it a couple of times. It? <laughs> him, surely. Seen him or her a couple of times? I find that surprising. I, I thought his, or maybe her, followers ran into, I don't know, six figures worldwide. Of course, I've glanced at it, but I really don't care what some American college student with that. Uh, I understand he or, or she is now a force to be reckoned with. Bloggers are hardly... Critics, experts... Juvenile. Plond? What? Plond. You've read Plond. They're at one another's throats most of the time. Plond and Art Monkey. Art Monkey and Plond. Oh, so you read both of them? No, of course not. Well, one has to keep in touch, but they're both... Juvenile. Or perhaps young. Perhaps they're speaking for their generation. Look, yes, of course I've read both of them. Of course I have. But you're not seriously saying this. I'm bumped up, probably trust-enriched. Art Monkey is just some kid looking for the next sparkly thing, regardless of any meaning or depth. And Plond? Plond is clearly some North of England winger with a huge chip on his shoulder. George Orwell meets the morose side of Alan Bennett. Yes, he's witty. I'll give him that. Oh, you read him enough to know... It's, well, it's a blog. How could you tell whether it's uh, he or... He's obviously a boy. Boy? Man, male. He's so full of himself. Or in a way a woman couldn't be. I, I don't read it enough to... The subject seems to have annoyed you. Oh, it's so stupid. It's what's wrong with the internet. Anyone can suddenly become an authority, whether they know anything or... Fuck all. Well, yes, yes, I... I cannot believe... I, I'd like to see either of them give an interview. Put them on TV for two minutes and everyone oh, YouTube, would... perhaps. It's odd that neither of them has a YouTube channel. <laughs> hmm. When's your next TV series? Sorry, I lost touch a bit. Just because we're not talking shouldn't stop me watching you on the box. The thing on European portraiture was really good. I thought I caught a repeat late one night last year. I assume it was on earlier. Earlier. I mean, first time it was shown. Late nights always repeats a year or so later, aren't they? So what's next? Nothing in the media pipeline. You can't just knock these things out. Not of course. There's research. Your team were always excellent. I noticed that uh, Peter had something of his own, admittedly on Channel 5, but you have to start somewhere. I bet you were sorry to let him go. The team, as you put it, are important, but it's the personal input that oh, counts. The personal input, yes, of course. So, what are you working on? Well, there's a lot in the offing. Well, I look forward to seeing it. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. On my deathbed. The consolation of art amongst respirators and face masks and whatever. I'm not going to feel sorry for you. Well, clearly. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be maudlin. All sentimental, like poor old Billy. Is there something in the barn? Something by Billy van der Grant? Oh, calm down, Alex, calm down. There is nothing by Billy van der Grant in the barn. When he died, as you know, the sketches were returned to Lillian, and that was her name. No, you mentioned something else. Something else? You, you hinted that you might have bought something else. On my own? Yes. Oh, is that why you came? H how do you mean? You'd heard that I bought something and you came because you were curious. No, I didn't come. You asked me. Oh, so I did. So, no, I didn't come here because I'd heard any kind of rumour. I'd not heard anything of the kind till you mentioned it. Did I? Yes, you did, just now. 
when you said you knew damn well that if I'd bought anything else, as you put it, you'd have known about it. And I'm surprised you didn't mention Wei Lu. Wei, ah, yeah, the third of the big art bloggers. Or does a Chinese expert count? A huge market. He seems more grounded than... Also, you follow him? I don't follow him. I read his stuff from time to time. I, I have to keep in touch, even with hot-headed young... With the influence of these bloggers doesn't worry you, then? Not really. Of course not. I, I would have thought anyone would have to be taking them seriously. Not really. Thomas, Thomas, what is this all about? Art. It's about art, isn't it? I didn't mean that. I mean, why did I ask you to come over? Yeah, let's get down to it. Down to it? You're playing games. So, tell me, why do you think I asked you to come? I'm at a loss. Or was it the talk about the bloggers? What do you mean? Was it the talk about the bloggers that put you at a loss? I'm, I'm sorry, have I upset you? Do, you? do you want to leave? Perhaps you shouldn't have come. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I give in. Curiosity, of course. We haven't seen one another for seven years. Since you stole my wife. No, I cannot believe you're doing this. I know you aren't well. Dying. Yes, dying. There have been simple press announcements. You are dying. As I have said already, Joe, Joanna and I are genuinely sorry. Is there anything I can do? No. <laughs> that was unexpectedly kind. Is there something? Or Joe, Joanna, I'm sure she... No, 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 Alex. There's nothing you can do for me, nor any doctor in the world. You look... Don't lie. You gasped when you saw how much weight I lost. No, I didn't see you come in, that was all. You crept up on... Uh, you used to be better at flannel than that. Look, I didn't come here to be insulted, even if you are sick. I'm sorry. I don't like you, that's clear. I'm not sure I even liked you when you were building, when we were building the collection. I did my best for you, Thomas. There isn't a piece in the collection in that barn that isn't worth more today than it... Do you think I should have it put into bond? What? Would it make made more sense to put it into bond? There are warehouses in Geneva there. I know about all of that. Most of the pieces by war. I don't know, they're full of Matisse and Picasso and uh, what is it? Oh, it's a Rothko, Van Gogh, Renoir. Klimt's Water Serpents 2. The world has a right to see that. Leonardo's Christ as Salvatore Mundi. Yeah, I know, Thomas. Just sitting there, appreciating, value going up thousands a day, sitting safely in the dark, never having to worry about too much light, never having to worry about being appreciated. <laughs> appreciating without being appreciated. I know. It's shocking, it's appalling, but... You think I should do it? What? Put the meat collection into bond. You're joking. Am I? You yourself guaranteed that the value of every piece in the collection could only go up? Yeah, but it wasn't an investment. You didn't buy all that, all those as an investment. You bought them as a... as a... as a patron of art. To be seen as a patron of art. Oh, glamorous Thomas Mead with his beautiful wife on his arm. And the Mead collection, everything perfect. Him, her, and the art. Thomas, you can't. You couldn't do this. You must not do this. Oh, you, do you think I meant it? You're... Yes? You're, you're one of the most astute businessmen in the country. Would it, it would make sense. If I were going to live another 30 years. <laughs> No, of course I couldn't. Well, I couldn't. I simply couldn't. It's impossible. You heard what I said? It's impossible. You bastard. You were just winding me up. Perhaps. If this is the only reason I'm here... What? How do you mean? You said if this is the only reason you're here. What did you mean by this? Well, I, I assume that you did ask me here for a reason. Oh, of course. No one would invite the man who stole his wife away whilst he was working for him without there being a reason, would they? Listen, I should go. I don't think you can afford to. Joanna is expensive to keep. I know, I've kept it. What are we here to discuss? 
you want the collection to finally go on sale? Uh, you have time? I can make time. Would you get the bloggers involved? No, I would not get the bloggers involved. It's not necessary. You know I have... I... All the contacts you need. But you haven't been on the box for a bit. I don't think that would make any difference. Oh, people know who you are. The people we'd need. The people we need. By the way, I was meaning to ask you, why were you calling Robert earlier? Robert? You made a call to Robert just after you got here, before you rang Joanna. Security camera. You must have noticed it when you came in. He was spying on me. I had them fitted just after Joanna left. Suddenly became paranoid about theft. I'd always felt the place was secure enough before that. You were spying on me? Uh, I mean, that is the finest canvas by one of the few British action painters to match the likes of Pollock and Co. As someone very recently put it, uh, the greatest, possibly only, great British action painting. Almost like throwing dice with absolute certainty, knowing that it will be snake eyes. Now, this is unconscionable. Unconscionable. You can't tell me that you didn't notice the camera when you came in. I heard you tell Joanna about it. I didn't think I was being spied on. Yeah, but you were. Get over it. And you have to. Because I think the call that you made was to Robert Cattersgill, who has been your broker since I arranged it lo these nine years. What of it? Oh, what indeed. You can leave if you want to, if you feel your privacy has been invaded. Not without finding out why you asked me to come here in the first place. Bravo. If the collection were put on show, would you include Lydia's work? Alex, I think that you are in a financial corner, old chap. I think you need something to reinvigorate your public image. And Joanna has no idea how bad the situation is. Oh, she does. She's sticking by me. It's a hiccup. Perhaps you should both hold your breath till it goes away. No, you're being... What? Loathsome? Unpleasant? Ooh, tricky situation. Grammar school boy not quite taught how to behave in this kind of situation. Poor Alex. You want to leave, but you can't. Can you? Of course, showing the Mead collection would probably be just the boost that you need. The stuff that you, principally you and I, put together. And I'd be the first to admit it was one of the finest collections of contemporary art in the country. Of course, I never really cared much for any of it. But you explained so well that I didn't need to understand it that I probably didn't have the humanity, imagination to understand all that great art. And that remains the case, sadly. I spent days and days and nights and nights out there looking at all of it and nothing. Perhaps you have no soul. I've always admitted I'm no critic or no expert. I reached a point where I hardly even know what I like. I'm just rich enough to be able to buy whatever I want. The most expensive piece of art in the world if I wanted to. But even if I didn't. The prices of everything that we bought together were always very reasonable. I didn't suggest anything that was overpriced. Try telling that to a mother of five in a slum in India. What? Doesn't matter. So, for Joanna's sake, you'd like me to reveal your meat collection to the world? Yes. I almost wish I could, Alex. Get over your fucking pride. Oh, it's not a question of pride. No, you're hurt. You're still hurt about what happened. What happened between us. You're keeping the collection away from the world is just selfish. Oh, well, you're quite wrong. You'll accept that all the stuff that went into the barn is mine. I paid for it. It belongs to me. Of course, but... Well, um... I said, when I said that I can't show the collection, it's not anything to do with how I feel now about what happened between you and me, which is probably trivial in the grand scheme of things. Then... I asked you here because I had to tell you. There is absolutely nothing in the barn. I personally destroyed every last bit of it. You're joking. <laughs> You're bluffing. You're joking. 